couldn't ask for a better partnership than what we've had here. And I want to start to walk you through and talk a little bit about where, where we're going and what we think we have. The industry as it stands today is the biology is understood. The downstream markets, the feed, fuel, and fuel are existing and in need. What, what we're debottlenecking and what's been the choke point in the industry for algae to come to fruition has been a cost-effective platform, and that's, that's where we've been grounded. I want to, at this point, talk a little bit about how, we, how we've gotten here and acknowledge the team. John, John Haley, Toby, Sean, Theroux, Ryan, and Seth from our organization are here. If you guys would stand up for a second, I'd like to give you a round of applause. This came about from, in our vision, and I think we've shared here about co-location. We think, we see the future, the modern day future of the farms. When you fly over Iowa in 10, 15 years from now, you're gonna see corn and soy, but you're gonna see concentric circles around these farms of, CO, of algae farms taking the CO2, the waste heat, the nutrients coming off of these opportunities. This will become a big source of our feed and fuel in the country, it's going to also have a trajectory that's, that, in our opinion, is representative of the al ethanol industry, where at first you had a, say, a seven dollar per unit cost. It drove itself and it's driven itself very quickly down to a dollar and a half. You're going to see the same thing take place in the algae industry. And once you put these co-location, you have that first profitable farm, which will be here in Shenandoah. And I want to tell you where you're standing. This. Is going to, this tent will disappear in a couple days. The engineering's been done. The infield for the outdoor farm will start to be constructed, and I wanted to announce that today. So we're going to go from here to starting the commercial, commercial phases, which are a key ingredient. But once you put that commercial farm on, and it's a profitable farm, every person who has a CO2 emission changes their view on that stack. That stack now becomes an opportunity it's not, it may, we displace it. That stack becomes, they look at it and they say, you know, I'm gonna, how, how do I harness, how do I, how do I produce a crop out of that? And if you look at the mega trends in the US, it's built around feed and fuel. If you look at our diets, we're, we're deficient in, in omega-3s. At the turn of the century, the 19th century, we were one to one omega-3 to omega-6s. Today, we're 35 to one omega-6, omega-3. I think there's a lot of opportunity going forward. We're honored for the honored in the commercialization project, and we think we couldn't have asked for better partners in the state of Iowa and the Green Plains Renewable Clark Corps and NPR relationship. What we look forward to, though, is getting this first farm on the ground, and that's what we're going to do next.